Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will tell you about the new version of FreeCAD, FreeCAD 1.0 RC1. RC stands for Release Candidate, which is a version that appears shortly before the release of the stable version. As you may know or not, FreeCAD has been developing very rapidly in recent years and the developers are aiming to release FreeCAD 1.0, which will be a stable, complete version of the software, free from many different issues. This version brings many improvements. A lot of problems have been fixed, which makes FreeCAD really a good tool. In fact, FreeCAD from version 018 was already a good 3D system, and that was several years ago. Since then, many improvements have been made. What stands out compared to other versions is a slightly changed startup page. However, as you can see, these are cosmetic changes. And actually, knowing the previous versions of FreeCAD, we can easily find our way around what we have here. I will create a new part in the part design module. This is a parametric part, and we have created a new part. As you can see, there are not many changes here. But now, as we proceed to create a sketch, we will create a sketching plane. In the sketcher module, we also have slight changes. The first thing that might catch your eye is that when creating geometry, we can define the dimensions of that geometry on the fly. Here I can set the dimensions of the rectangle while drawing this geometry. Additionally, when drawing a rectangle, we can immediately indicate that we want it to be a rectangle with rounded corners, or we can choose the frame option, and then it will be created in that way. We can create a shape composed of two lines. Here, I will turn off the rounded corners, and it looks like this. First, we draw one rectangle, and then we draw the second rectangle at a specified offset value. I will create this with dimensions. For example, I will create the first rectangle with dimensions of 50 by 30, and I will create the second rectangle 10 millimeters larger on side. So, on one hand, these are cosmetic changes, but on the other hand, they can significantly facilitate and speed up the creation of geometry. The situation is similar for other geometries. We can also define dimensions on the fly. When it comes to dimensioning geometry, the dimensions are under this icon, but by default, the dimensioning command is simply selected, which automatically chooses the type of dimension to apply to the given geometry. OK, I will close this sketch and I will also delete this geometry. I select and delete the entire sketch. Now I will go back to create another sketch. What caught my attention is that when we create a model in stages, I will add an extrusion here. OK, on this face, I want to create a second sketch. When creating a sketch, this geometry by default had the same color as the solid color. This may result from the fact that I use different versions of software, and between these versions of software, the settings can overwrite each other. It could have been caused by the fact that I installed the Onsdale software, and from that software, color settings may have been imported. However, at first, this confused me because the color of the created geometries was the same as the color of the solid. When creating a sketch over the solid, that sketch was simply not visible, and this had to be changed in the preferences in the sketcher settings. Here in the Appearance tab, we have the color of the creating line, and here this gray color of that line was selected. I simply changed this color to white so that these lines would be more visible. Now I will delete this sketch, and on this face I will create another sketch. I will also create a rectangle here. OK, I will add another extrusion. On this face, I will create one more sketch we will create a circle. For now, I am not focusing on dimensions because at this moment, those dimensions are not significant. And what is worth noting is that in previous versions of FreeCAD, we could not edit the shape of sketches from previous operations. Now this has been improved and we can make changes to previous sketches. For example, I can edit the sketch of the first operation here and those changes have been applied to the model. The model has not shifted, has not been destroyed, and everything works here. This was a problem known as TNP, and this problem has already been fixed in the version that will appear in FreeCAD 1.0, or in the versions that are referred to as release candidate. This problem no longer occurs. 
we can edit sketches that have been used for previous operations. In earlier versions, we could edit a sketch in such a way that we could change the dimensions of that sketch, and in this version, we can already make changes to the geometry of that sketch. The model will not shift. There will be no errors here that cause damage to the model when we edit the sketch. This is one of the significant improvements that will appear in FreeCAD 1.0. This issue, known as the topological naming problem, caused many people to abandon using FreeCAD. They stopped using FreeCAD and now it has been fixed. I think for many people, FreeCAD may turn out to be quite an interesting tool, especially since it is still a completely free program. We can freely use this program also for commercial purposes. This was just a brief update. I wanted to inform you that FreeCAD 1.0 will be coming soon. If you want to use FreeCAD 1.0 RC1, which is the release candidate version that is not yet officially available for download because the stable version available for download is version 0.2.1.2. To use the RC1 version, you need to go to the developmental versions. We click here on weekly build and go here. We download the latest developmental version. At this moment, the latest developmental version is version FreeCAD 1.0 RC1. If you are using Windows, download this file. After extracting the archive, you can already use this version. This version does not need to be installed. We simply download, unpack the archive, then go to the bin folder and run the file freecad.exe from the bin folder. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.